The crisis in some underfunded volunteer EMS departments, and in many cases, that's forcing people to wait longer for an ambulance. It's having a big impact in Dillsboro, Indiana. It's about 40 miles west of Cincinnati. WCPO 9 team reporter Craig Cheatham traveled to Dillsboro to investigate the problem and what's being done about it. Different County 911. I, I need a life squad right now. A husband's frantic call to 911. She can't breathe. She's turning white. His wife unconscious. I need a lot, somebody here. Response time could be critical. We're getting them paged out to you, sir. It happened five weeks ago in this Dillsboro, Indiana home. Her eyes just kind of rolled back in her head. Just a half mile from where two working ambulances are parked inside the garage of the volunteer nonprofit Dillsboro Emergency Ambulance Unit. Dillsbury EMS, your status. The Dillsboro Ambulance Unit didn't respond that night. 911 records also show two out-of-town departments were unavailable. A third out-of-town ambulance finally arrived nearly 30 minutes after the man called 911. Why have an ambulance building if you're not going to have somebody that can get to us when we need it? Debbie Cornett says on two different days in October 2021, her husband Michael struggled to breathe and became unconscious. I was afraid he was just going to lay there and die before I could get somebody here to help him. And... Dillsboro didn't have a squad available, so she says both days she waited for an ambulance from Aurora, which is 10 miles away. It made me want to cry. I had no way to help him. She walked with me to her mailbox in her front yard to show us how close she lives to the Dillsboro Emergency Ambulance Unit. It's about 100 yards away. Yeah. It's crazy. There's nobody there now. Her husband was in hospice during the last call to 911. He died three weeks later. It's sad. I hate to see, I hate what everybody here has to go through, struggling, waiting on a squad. Hillsboro Ambulance Unit co-captains Bev Tackett and Harry Witteride say since the pandemic, the unit has lost half their members, including EMTs, and can't keep up with growing demand. It's just hard to see that the community's upset and we're trying our hardest with what we have. It's the address of your emergency. 911 records show in the first six months of 2023, the nonprofit volunteer Dillsboro Emergency Ambulance Unit has responded to one out of every five emergency calls in the town. They haven't had crews available for about 120 emergency incidents this year, including reported strokes and traumatic injuries. How bad is it? It is, uh, I would say, critical at this time. Kevin Turner became Dillsboro's town manager in March. He's also an elected member of the county council. Turner says the town, which has a general fund of about $383,000, can't afford to provide funding for the nonprofit ambulance unit. I believe the answer is professionalism, which that we're going to have to end up paying to have crews stationed throughout the county. Studies show many communities across the country that rely on often underfunded volunteer emergency responders are struggling to provide the response time their neighbors received years ago. Records show paid staff ambulance crews in Dearborn County are concentrated in Lawrenceburg, Greendale, and Aurora. The Dearborn County Council provided $800,000 in funding this year for local EMS agencies. That's nearly double the previous funding. Dillsboro's ambulance unit received $50,000. After a recent county council meeting, President Liz Morris admitted that it's still not nearly enough financial support for the county's EMS responders. I think that it's only uh, fair for us to find proper, appropriate means to fund long-term EMS in Dearborn County. We don't have that today. It's been a band-aid and it's been a struggle. I asked County Commission President Jim Thatcher about the problems in Dillsboro. This isn't new. Why has it continued for so long? A lot of this is finding out about it, like you said. As a county commissioner, you have a lot of balls in the air. That particular issue came to me like the last six months to a year. Thatcher says he's been trying to help the Dillsboro Ambulance Unit merge and survive. We've got problems, I get it, but uh, 
Yeah. We're trying to fix him. Back in Dillsboro. You need to go to the hospital. Soon after we sat down to interview Tackett and Witterride at the ambulance unit. Let's go. We got Epi. A woman arrived and said she was having trouble breathing. Come on, come here. Tackett and Witteride, both EMTs, quickly removed our microphones. Just rip it out and give it to me. Thank you. Thank you. And three minutes later, on the pot. left the garage with their patient heading to a hospital. Every time you think you're done, you get one of these runs, and it's like I made a difference. This is why I do this. But 911 records show there are far fewer of those runs. And some residents say they no longer expect the Dillsboro Ambulance Squad to respond when they need them. Dillsboro EMS, your status. Last week, the Dearborn County Council approved funding for a new ambulance for Aurora EMS and the Bright Fire and EMS Department. On Monday, the council votes on a tax increase that's expected to provide $3 million in funding for EMS programs in the county. Tanya? I'm sure.